Hello everybody, one more time, my name is Alex Centeno and today we have um, an exciting tutorial as always. This time what we're going to be taking a look is how to uh, create a personal or custom color lookup table in Photoshop and then we're going to export that LUT or color lookup table uh, to a dot cube format so that we can import it into other applications like After Effects or we can use it with DaVinci Resolve and uh, all sorts of different applications. So, um, And the purpose of doing that is for specifically taking the GH4 vlog and not having to reinvent the wheel every time that we're uh, going from vlog to Reg 709. So let's get to it. I have here, well first of all I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 and you can do this I believe from any of the versions from Photoshop CC on. So I have a clip here and it is shot in the GH4 vlog profile. Other than that um, basically I'm, I'm just starting from scratch. So bring the clip into your uh, Photoshop timeline here and I am just gonna click on the arrow here so that I'm not directly working in my video group. Excellent. First thing I'm gonna create an adjustment layer and I'm gonna be doing this with levels. And <clears throat> here we have the levels panel. Let's change this from 0 to 30 and let's bring it down uh, the highlight end here into 170 or so and then uh, we're going to be going to the right although it's counterintuitive because you would probably think that going to the right would make it lighter but in this case we're going darker so modifying the gamma uh, at about uh, 0 0.71 to 72 or so and that's pretty much it. As you can see, uh, you are pretty much in Rec. 709 just by doing that simple uh, technique. Obviously, you can change the gamma. If you're going for a more filmic look, you can change it and make it um, less Rec. 709 or more Rec. 709 depending on what uh, the output is going to be. So that's the first one. The second one would be saturation and vibrancy. So we can do it with vibrance adjustment layer let's go ahead and add saturation first uh, 15 or so um, and vibrance a little bit more the difference between vibrance and saturation if you don't know you can actually uh, I believe we, we did a video on this but um, saturation uh, apply saturation to the whole image where uh, vibrance is protecting skin tones um, so it actually operates better with uh, blues and greens and things like that, uh, applying saturation to those um, to those colors, protecting more of the skin tones. Um, excellent. Let's go ahead and close this. And uh, we could do other final touches. Um, in this case, since we are going to be using this color lookup table uh, as you know, as, as something that we can just throw into some GH4 vlog footage without having to do a, a lot more of color correction, then we can add a color lookup table from Photoshop directly into that. So let's do color lookup and uh, I'm going to select here load 3D LUT and here Photoshop CC 2015 actually comes with some um, stock um, I, I guess it is like emulation but not precisely it's just emulating the color here um, but uh, it is uh, in itself color um, film emulation so we're going to be using the 5218 and then Kodak 2383 as the print um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. So the first one is our levels, the second one our vibrance and saturation, the third one our color lookup table. And then we have this result which is obviously 
a lot better than before. So now we are in Rex 9. Now, uh, if I was to try to create my lookup table from here, so if I go to export, color lookup table, uh, actually it's, it's not grayed out, so it's letting me try to do it, but I can tell you it's not going to work. So before you even go into the trouble of doing it, what you need to do is come here to your video layer, the one that you're working, and you have to convert this so that your stack here has a background layer. So in order for us to make this layer a background layer, in fact, if I tried to make this a new background layer, uh, well, actually it's letting me, there you go. Okay, perfect. So uh, you can make this into a background layer uh, directly. Sometimes, uh, depending on some weird Photoshop thing, uh, sometimes this is not going to allow you to make this into a background layer directly. I guess like when you select the, the group, it doesn't allow you to. So what you can do is just like rasterize it. And then once rasterized, then you can go to uh, creating a background layer. So anyways, once you have the background, you're going to see the lock here to the right. Uh, and then that's it. Once you have the background, then you can, of course, create your LUT. So go to file, export, and then color lookup tables. Um, you're going to give it a description. Let's call this one GH4 to rec 709. And this is GH4 vlog L to rec 709. And then uh, you don't want to go crazy with the quality um, because I think around 60 and 70 is more than enough. That's usually considered mid quality here, medium quality. So if I even go to 65 or let's say 60. See, even 60 is considered still medium and it's great, like uh, as grid points for a color lookup table. So 60, 70 is great. Uh, you can go ballistic and this is just too much and it's going to, unless you have a, a very, very, you know, capable computer, it's not going to work out well. So we're going to do it 60 medium grid points and then I'll, Obviously, you can select the formats that you want to be using, but uh, with Cube is very, um, it's a very good format for having your lookup tables. It actually works very well with DaVinci Resolve. So you create your lookup tables in Photoshop if you're more comfortable, like I am. Uh, creating your lookup tables in Photoshop then going to Cube. Uh, you can use Cube in DaVinci Resolve. You can use it in After Effects. You can use it in Premiere. Uh, and so forth. Excellent. And then you hit OK. It's going to give you an option to uh, save it. Let's go ahead and give it a name. GH4 Vlog to Rec 709. LUT and save that. Excellent. And now to test it, all you have to do is come back here, create a color lookup table, adjustment layer, um, and uh, double click on uh, the select LUT. Select the one that you created and voila, look at it. And as you can see, it already looks precisely like the adjustments that we created before. And that is pretty much a wrap. As you can see before and after, before and after. And as I said, I could actually, you know, show you that this can work in After Effects and have Inchi Resolve and whatnot, but uh, you're going to have to trust me on that one. It works. Excellent. So if you have any questions or comments, just let us know in the YouTube comments box. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.